How's it going guys? Welcome back to Blue Shooting and welcome back to Steins Gate Zero. Where last time I'm like 90% sure we got a bad ending. But not gonna let that stop us here. And I'm actually a little terrified. I kind of was stewing on the fact that I had made the wrong choice unintentionally. And honestly, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do at that time. And while I made note of something important, it kind of hit me like 30 minutes later <laughs> that in the time lip, we went back to 0 0.5. I'm pretty sure we went back to 0 0.57, which I'm pretty sure was... First off, I think that's the Alpha World Line, and secondly, I think that's the original spot in the Alpha World Line. So that's freaking terrifying. Did we literally just undo everything that we tried so hard to do in the first game? If that happened, I'm gonna be so sad. But, I don't know. These types of endings, if it is a bad ending, tend to be really short. So if, if that's the case, we'll jump right back into the main plot line. Um, I've talked about before in my games, I do, I try and shoot for like the, the you know, single ending or at very least a true ending. Science Gate kind of has to be a little bit special uh, because of the nature of the game. I pretty much have to go for the true ending if we're going to get the whole story. So don't worry, don't fret. We're going to be going there, but keep in mind that uh, I will try to avoid bad endings to the best of my personal ability because I, I wanted to hope I could get through the whole game without making major mistakes. Fortunately, I made one, but I'm going to keep it in here because it was a natural mistake that happens to me, so we're going to play it and we're going to see how it happens. And then after that, we're going to push forward into the rest of it. So I got to fix this. Uh, so we're going to be jumping in here and just kind of moving forward and see what this is and then we'll go back and continue on through the rest of the storyline because I, at least I had the right gut feeling in the end. I was torn but I decided the right path so I'm going to count that as the right answer for we're going to explore this one because we're here. So let's do this. <clears throat> <sighs> Also, by the way, I think I'm getting a little sick, so if I seem kind of out of it, that's why. Oobles. Okay, breathe. Felt like I was floating up from the bottom of, the ba of a black pit. My mind slowly began to clear. Ugh. Yeah. I slowly looked around the room. There was no way I could mistake it. This was the future gadget lab. The place I'd been just a moment ago. There was nothing unusual about it. Except for the fact that everyone was missing. They'd been there just a moment ago, but now they were all gone. <coughs> uh, I looked at the clock. It had been just about 3pm when I'd finished my call with Maho. Only a few minutes had passed. I, even if I'd passed out, it was impossible to imagine all of them leaving me here. Which meant... Masako. Yeah, something changed. I took a slow walk around the room. There were other strange things. Dara's PC, for example. There was a thin layer of dust on the keyboard. Wait, what? That's not good. As if no one had used it for a while. And then the corner of the room? Normally, that was where Mary put her bags. The paper bags where she always put the cosplay outfits she was working on. I'd seen them there just a moment ago, but now they were gone. Could this be... Why? Kudusu's words from before... Help me. I should have ignored the call. <laughs> Why would Kirishu say something like that? Did it have something to do with the world line shift? I took my phone out of my pocket and went to start the Amadeus app and then stopped. Cute. It's not there. Now the Amadeus icon is gone from my phone. Can I... Yeah. My mind raced to try and come up with an explanation. But of course, I came up with nothing. Okay, can we call someone? I needed to calmly find out what this world was like. Yeah, let's call. 
I was about to walk towards the door and find out when the back of the room I heard a sound from the back of the development room which no one ever used anymore someone was there who Daru Mary who I slowly approached God, oh, it's a lot of build up man what's happening ah no we are in that line I almost couldn't breathe. I never forgot. I'd never forgotten her. The girl standing there was Kurusu Makase. Oh, oh, wrong button. Yep. Oh, man. Get back to the game. Antonomic Duel. <sighs> Kurusu Makase was looking down at something. Baka, no. <laughs> I remember the man. How did this happen? Kurusu couldn't be here. Because she... She was dead. Was I seeing things? Was my desire to see her making me hallucinate? But it seemed too far, far too realistic to be hallucination. Still, I felt like if I spoke a word, she'd disappear. I couldn't say a thing. What was she staring at without even moving a muscle? She was so still that I thought she must be a hallucination after all, but then... <sighs> she finally exhaled a little and slowly turned around. <laughs> wow. It's weird seeing you in this game for some reason. <laughs> Hi. <gasps> My throat was dry and I couldn't speak. てたならきてたって言いなさいよ。黙って立ってたらびっくりするじゃない。ですが、見たと、explain。負けまして。おめでとう。いや。それにしても珍しいわね。あんたがここに顔出すなんて。Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing because Mayuri did fall, didn't she? Okabe? Chris. Chris. Nandana. She would understand, right? You could explain it to her. Shinne, so so, nani itteru no yo. Daijoubu? Nani ka warii mono demo tabeta? Even her slightly peeved expression. <laughs> and the gentle flash you sometimes saw in her eyes. And this. <laughs> you hug her? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Even her warmth. It wasn't a hallucination, or an after artificial intelligence on a screen. It was the real Kurusu Makise. Okabe? It's Fetch Man. The real life Kurusu Makise. <laughs> oh, Okabe. <laughs> You've been broken for so long. <laughs> I think he's still broken. Okabe. Onegai, hanashite. Sumanai. Oh yeah. I realized for the first time that my cheeks were wet. Aww. I felt her soft hands on my back. She whispered to me in a soft voice and patted me on the back and wrapped her arms around me like a kind mother holding a child. I finally calmed myself down. She was still there. She still existed. Now that I'd calmed down, I realized what that meant. 
無理もないわよ私だって時々あるものそういうことそういうこと思い出したんでしょマユリのこと。Oh man, that's right. Kirisu was here, which meant that this was the alpha world line. The world without Miyuri. The world where Miyuri died, and the world where Surin takes over. Some small part of me had wished that this was the world beyond Stein's Gate. That it was a new future with someone else had opened for me. But of course, that was too good to be true. There was no way for me to know what had happened. But I must have made a choice to give up on Mayuri. There was the future where she was gone. <laughs> Conf confronted once more by the reality of Mayuri's death, my heart felt like it was about to burst. Mayuri. <laughs> How had she died? <laughs> They push her in front of a train. <laughs> Come on, man. Shoot her. Did they shoot her? <laughs> Hit her with a car. Stab her. Or. Kirisu's tiny hand wrapped around mine. I miss Kirisu. <laughs> little by little, my racing heart began to calm down. Sorry, I said something so I rummaged through my pocket and found a small box of pills. It was the same anxiety medication I'd already been taking. Even in this world, I was still on the same drugs. I looked around the room while Kirisu got me some water from the tap. Is tap water in Tokyo or Akihabara like okay? I, I, you always associate big cities with terrible tap water. <sighs> and yeah, because here's the thing. We feel like we appeared here, but Okabe in this world line was in here again. So he was here for something. I bet you, so this world line is probably the one where she got shot. Darumo. <laughs> The room was awfully clean then. I took a closer look and saw that there were even a few places like Dara's PC that were covered in dust, but the rest seemed to have been regularly cleaned. Who? I didn't have to ask who they were. Oh, maybe the other lab mems? Mayuri loved this place. She loved the future gadget lab. She loved the time she spent with all the lab members here. I waited, but no answer came ever came. What was she apologizing for? For talking about Mayuri? For making me remember? Or for making me choose? Chris. What? Oh, no. Yeah. If she said something, if I, if I said something, she'd answer me right away. I could reach out and touch her. That alone brought me to the verge of tears. If I just stayed here, like this? <laughs> what was I thinking? I'd given up everything and let her die. I left her to die, and still I was happy to be back here in this world line with Kirisu. As as I was sad all over losing Mayuri, part of me was thinking I wanted to stay here. Even though I didn't have the right. If there was a god in this world, he must be cruel, twisted being. Why was he doing this to me again? 
What was what was what I'd done that wrong? I'd already made my choice once. There was no way to save the world. There was no way to save Kurisu. But with Kurisu in front of me, I was already starting to waver. Yeah, I don't think there'd be any of us who wouldn't. Fetch, man. Should I go back to the beta world line? Should I send the email? Can we? <gasps> Can we do that? The email. So, Eva. Right. Oh. Oh. So that the the phone wave no longer existed, it seemed. Of course it didn't. Its mere existence had made us a target of CERN. But without it, I couldn't leave this world line on my own. So even if I did stay here in this world line, it wouldn't be my responsibility. It wasn't my fault, and if it wasn't something I wanted... Which meant... Okabe. うん、何か飲むもの買ってきてくれない。あ、sure、<笑> Yeah, I should go. I want to get outside and think things through. Milk to Sato no haita, am I yet? Milk wa irenain janakatanoka. Samoy hini wa omoi kiri amatari mono ga nomita kunaru. Leo kaida. I stood up and headed for the door, but turned around halfway. Nani? <laughs> I, I just want to look at you more. Like, it sounds creepy, but it's true. It's like, you are real, right? Yeah. I felt like if I took my eyes off her, she'd disappear, but that was far too embarrassing to say. Okabe? Huh? Shikari ne? いや、子供じゃないんだ。お使いぐらいできる。そうね。いってらっしゃい。いってらっしゃい。いってらっしゃいバイ。I <笑> I didn't know how to talk to her, what to say anymore. Even though I'd spoken to Kurisu like it was the most normal thing in the world. <sighs> I still couldn't believe it though. Was this really the Alpha World Line? No, if Kurisu were here, it had to be. But then why? Who had caused the World Line change and how? And how they targeted it so well? Had CERN figured it out maybe? It would be what CERN would want to do. <laughs> Save me. That call from Kurisu. Was that what triggered it somehow? No, I should stop thinking about it. If someone else had caused it somehow, I shouldn't get involved anymore. I didn't want to. I didn't want to overthrow the structure of the world anymore. I just wanted to live in peace. In a universe with no world lines or attractor fields. Yeah, let's go with this again, but I remember. Fictional world line convergence zones. The standard accepted model of the quantum physics in 2036. After the many world interpretation and the Copenhagen interpretation, it was a deterministic inter interpretation. Where many world lines gathered into a world into a world branch, called an attractor field. This attractor field is simple simply a zone in which all world lines will eventually reach the same end result. Major splits in the world line at the attractor field level are called world line trunks. One one pre two thousand ten example of world line trunk is the year two thousand. Oh wait, there was another one in there that was unread. 
the Freemasons. Oh, I saw I read this one. Secret society founded somewhere between the 16th and 17th century it was said of being union of stonemasons who built cathedrals, monasteries, palaces, and castles. Branches still exist all over the world and the organization of over 6 million members. In conspiracy theories and fiction, it's often depicted as a terrifying secret organization that rules the world. Yeah, we actually have a Freemason branch, like, practically right down the road from me. Alright. I had stopped letting the whims of fate rule my life. There was nothing left that I could do. <laughs> Suddenly, something seemed very wrong. Kiddushi's words a moment ago, what had they meant? Keys. Okabe. Hang in there for what? That's a good question. I mean, it seems like a standard statement, though. She couldn't mean to... I turned around and rushed back into the lab. Oh, no. No, no, you better not. No. Okay. Maybe we're crazy. What, what, what? Do what? She was just- it was just where I'd seen her the first time, standing and looking toward the back of the development room. <gasps> she made the machine- she brought us back, didn't she? In the depths of the darkness. In the spot that just a moment ago had been covered by a cloth, I saw an old microwave with its color- with its door taken off. Microwave oven. Do we really need a tip for this? It's a cooking appliance that heats the moisture and food using microwaves. They're originally called ra uh, radar ang ang angers. angers. Radar, in this case, referring to electromagnetic waves. Microwave ovens were invented when the communications radar technician realized that EM waves could warm food. I wonder how they figured that out. <laughs> Research was done in the process after that, and in 1947, they were sold to the public of America. Microwave ovens use waves in the 2.45 gigahertz frequency range, and the home units have an output between 500 and 1,000 watts, and commercial ovens between 15 and 12,000 watts. This frequency range is called the ISM band, is the same one used by wireless internet. Which is why, like, if you put your phone next to your microwave, it'll start getting a little interference. Don't put it in your microwave, though, that'll make it explode. Uh, actually, funny enough, I have a story about a microwave. Our microwave exploded for no reason. There's like, um, there's like a catch. I, ca I, 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 I looked it up, I don't know the mechanics of it per se, but it's effectively, it's a, it's a bouncer that kind of keeps the... The signals that are sent out to effectively warm the water molecules make them vibrate. It kind of helps kind of direct them and keep them in the box in the proper way that helps it work. For some reason, if you have one that gets a lot of buildup of, um, of crud on it, and you get this, this right magical combination of just like the right level of humidity mixed with just a little bit of corrosion, it can just make it explode into sparks and like literally lit our microwave on fire from the inside. I've never had it happen before. and it's a, like, like it was it was the most insane thing to have happen. We still have to buy a new one. We have a, we had a backup one from our our first house. So, like, luckily it didn't. It, like, it's not like we don't have a microwave anymore. But like, it was scary. Okay, good, good. The phone wave ain't subject to change. Oh, hang in there. She's trying to. She was. She's trying to figure out how to save Miyuri. Inadvertently, she might have brought us back here. Future gadget number eight. It was the gadget that had changed my fate. No, the fate of the world. それなら電話レンジかっこ借りかえるの。名前なんてどうだっていい。作り直したって。どうしてそんなことを過去にメールを送るためよ。メールを送って世界線を変えるの。うん。あんたにとっては戻すって言った方がいいのかもね。世界線
お前何をねえ岡部あんたついさっき別の世界線から来たでしょ Oh boy yeah それもベータ世界線から違う Fetch, you really know what you're talking about right now. 気づいてたのかそうでなきゃあんたがあんなことするはずないもの。Well, you'd be surprised, actually. あんなことだ,だ,だから、その、あんなふうに私を抱きしめたりとか、そういうことよ。You have no idea, Kusu. It was also wonderful. The way her cheeks reddened in embarrassment as she looked away. The way she pursed her lips. The way she fiddled with the ends of her hair. Everything was just so wonderful. I realized it again. I was in love with her. さらに言えば、その世界線の変動は、誰か別の人の手によるもので、あんたが好き好んで変動させたわけじゃない。当たってるすべてを見通し。というわけかどれだけあんたのこと見てきたと思ってるのよ。Oh, man. <笑>ああ、いや、違うからな。<笑> sure? 別にそういう意味じゃなくて。あいや<笑>違わなくもないけど。<笑> I missed you a lot, k i r i s u Oh my gosh. <笑> I missed her a lot as a character. ど、とにかく<笑> !She took a deep breath and looked up at me again. あんたがベータ世界線から来たってことはあんたは過去に一度その世界を選択したってことでしょ so far beyond what I could hope to be. In those brief moments, she discovered all that. She was right about everything. But even so, I couldn't let her know. Admitting that would mean admitting that I'd left her to die. There was no way I could do that. すまない。In the end, that was all I said. But that was an ambition all the same. But instead of looking sad, she. Hayamar no baka. Anta ga jibun de kimeta koto de shoga. Dattara, jibun no sentak ni jishin o m o c h i n a s a No, but it wasn't. It was. But it was. I,、uh... She tried to cheer me up. That's right. Kirishi was right. I, I was the one who'd chosen the beta world line. But we had to. It wasn't a blind choice. It wasn't just Kudisu Mayuri. That would have been hard enough. But it was, it was, it was like we either chose Mayuri dying or we chose Kudisu dying and the sacrifices of everybody else. Honoring all the things that the other people have gone through. That was what made that choice so horrible. Because it wasn't just a stark 1 0 type of equation in the end of it. It was whether or not we let Miyuri die, which was the start of us trying to fix the past, or the eventual conclusion of that story, which meant that if we wanted to herald and, and trust and show faith in the choices and the sacrifices of all of our friends up until that point, we allowed Kurusu to fall to save the world. Because we didn't even know about World War III, but now we know about World War III. We don't know if the world's any better off in the end. How could we possibly let her just make this choice again? Can we let her do this again? But. So, then, you know, Anta was probably not going to be a good thing. I don't know if you're going to be a good thing. I don't know if you're going to be a good thing. I don't know if you're going to be そんなそぶり、私には決して見せようとしなかったけど。Wow. It was the same. It was the same as what I'd gone through. What I'd gone through. It was the same as the beta world line. でも、どうしてあげることもできなかった。だって、あんたの苦しみは私のせいだから。No. 私を生かすために、あんたは苦しんでたんだから。でもね、それも今日で終わり。終わりにしなきゃいけないのよ。No. だって、このままじゃ、あんたはずっと罪の意識に苛まれて、最後には押しつぶされちゃう。同じだ。どういうこと ?World I came from is exactly the same. どっちにしても結局
俺はずっと後悔するんだマイリーを救えなかったことお前を救えなかったことアルファ世界線にいてもベータ世界線にいてもそれは変わらない So maybe maybe I should just stay here しっかりしなさい岡部凛太郎クリスなんて顔してるのよあんたらしくない私の好きな法王院京馬さんはもっと自信に満ちた顔してなきゃ。ヨネン・キヨマ、ハ。There was a name I hadn't heard in a long time。あんたは正しい道を選択したの。マユリを助けるっていう選択を、それは決して間違ってない。でも、俺はお前を。いい今あんたがここにいるのは、そうね。夢を見ているだけよ。But you're here. 夢そう、夢の中であんたは私に会った。ただそれだけのこと。んそう思えば、少しは気も楽でしょ。No? She sighed a little and laughed. これだけ脳の研究が進んでいるのに、夢を見るメカニズムって、実はまだ明確にはなっていないのよね。眠っている間に脳内では記憶の整理が行われているその過程で発生するのが夢だっていう説もあるけど要するにここはベータ世界線のあんたが迷い込んだ夢の中の世界あんたの頭の中を整理するためにねそしてこれが夢ならいつかは目を覚まさなきゃならないそうでしょ But it's not. You're here. I'm here. We're here. Demo! Korewa yume nan ka janai! Gen ni kou s t e I reached out and touched her cheek. Gen ni kou s t e O mai wa koko ni iru janai ka. He's missed you so much. Kan shoko da te. No ga kanji sa se te iru kino no hitotsu ya. She took a quick step back. The sensation of her cheek disappeared from my fingers. Daitai, Koko ni temo anta wa siawa se ni wa nare nai. Zutto kokai no nen o nugu koto wa deki nai no. So ste, so re wa watashi mo onashi. Beta se kai sen demo kawara nai. Ore wa zutto, o mai o taske rare na katta koto o. Kuya mi nagara iki te kita. Dake do. 少なくとも、マユリは幸せでいられるでしょマユリは。She doesn't know anything. Because that's what I wanted. I wanted her to know nothing and be happy. And now that wish was still coming true, but. あんたは、マユリに笑っててほしい。そう願ってる。私も同じ。同じなのということはやっぱりあんたの選択は間違ってはなかったってことよ<笑> I'd finally met her again but she was here alive right in front of me but もう<笑> She walked up to me without even trying to hide her frustration いい加減にしなさい岡部凛太郎一度出した結論でしょうが、But... あんたはここにいちゃいけないの。帰らなきゃいけない。No. 夢から覚めなきゃいけないのよ。No, I don't want to. だってもう、もう、そうやって苦しむあんたを見ていたくないから。クリス。さあ、これ以上は時間の無駄よ。私はやるから。She turned away from me. I could feel the strength of her will, her resolve. I remembered what I'd seen just after I'd come to this world line. Kurisu had been just standing there in front of the phone wave. Thinking back, she'd probably already made her decision without anyone knowing, without anyone to say goodbye to. She'd chosen to go to a world where she would no longer exist. 
it had probably taken her a long time and a lot of struggle to come to that decision. She'd probably asked herself a thousand times if it was really the right answer. If this was what she'd chosen after all that. I didn't have the right to stop her. But you can say goodbye to her at the very least, right? It would be wrong. Ne, Okabe. You make a summer money. Hitotsu. Yaksokuste. Okay. Yaksoku. Beta Sekai say Nitara. But I can't do that. That was just the opposite of what she'd said that day. That day, the way I'd chosen the beta world line, she said to me, Don't forget about- don't forget me. But now she was asking for the opposite. She was always like that. She always cared more about others than herself. She always sacrificed herself. She was asking me to this for my sake only. She didn't want to be forgotten. She hated being forgotten more than anyone else could. She was stubborn and bullheaded. I would never be able to forget her. But... That was all I could do to keep from breaking down. But that was probably the same for her. No, it's not. She turned around, stuck out her pinky finger. She forced it around mine. Her hand moved away from mine. Her gaze locked, looked away from me. It was almost time to say goodbye. She was sending a message to the past. I knew it was the right thing to do. I knew this was what she wanted. But still... Okabe. Her voice is overlapped. ど、どうした The name of the person I cared for. The name of the person I loved. Yeah. <笑>忘れられるわけがない何しろ強烈だったからな。それを言うならあんたの方こそ。<笑> Because he was an idiot. I know. It would lead to meeting someone so important to me. Not that I'd say it now. I couldn't say it, but... Say it, idiot! <laughs> Okay. Even for a little. Even just for a second. Just for an instant. No. If it would last just a little longer. Her voice. そうだけど、そんな風にあっさり言われちゃうと、それはそれでムカつく。The 
嘘。なんだ<笑>嘘なのかそう嘘。Just a little longer so that I could remember it all. <laughs> Come on, man, do something. You don't have to stop her, but just tell her how you feel or something. But I was out of time. Okabe. <laughs> so it's up. No. Those words were the thought sign that magic was over. Oh. <laughs> We shouldn't have to do this twice. There's a million things I wanted to say, but stopped myself. Kadusu smiled, satisfied, and turned back toward the phone wave. She probably already had the message ready. The phone wave started to bounce, boom, and crackle like thunder. There was a long, long countdown. The whole time, Kadusu faced away from me, and I just watched. The noise grew louder. The countdown continued, and then it was time. Okabe! Here she turned around with a big smile on her face. Her voice was cut off by the roar. I hate that stupid machine. 1.05? I don't think that's where we were when we left. And then I woke up from my short dream. I gradually returned to my blacked out vision. The lab started to come back into focus. I could tell immediately that the world line had changed. I could still see Kurusu when I closed my eyes, but she wasn't in the development room anymore. It was like the whole thing had been a daydream. I felt like I'd been caught in the boundary between dreaming and wakefulness. I was back. Back to a world without Kurusu. This wasn't the alpha world line. There was no point in even bothering to check. A moment ago, only Kurtisu and I had been in this room, and now everyone was here. Okari, what happened? Are you bad? No, I'm okay. Mayuri. Can you drink a drink? It's okay. I'm not worried. So what's happening now? Lukako, and... Kagari. Kagari Shina. If Mayuri and Kagari were here, that meant I was back in the beta world line. ちょっと腹が減っただけだ。朝から何も食べてなくてな。もう、オカリンさんたらダメだよ。ちゃんとご飯は食べなきゃ。ダルおじさんみたいに大きくなれないよ。Wait, <笑><笑> what? Why did she call him Uncle Daru? Huh? Yeah, this is very weird. What did Kurushu do? What? What? ここりちゃんまでそういうこと言うんだから。これでもね、最近はゆきさんにお料理教えてもらってるんだよ。あ、what?あ、じゃあ僕が手伝うから。待ってくれ。This feels really weird. え、すみません。僕手伝わない方がいいですか？What's happening? Yeah. What's happening? そうじゃない。そうじゃないんだ。I looked around at everyone and then back at Kagari. Kagari-san. Yadana, Okarin-san. Watashinokotoa. Kagari de eat, de teruni. Something was different. No freaking kidding, man. I've got the heebie jeebies. So, Kagari. Saki. Mayuri no koto nante yonde da ka. Kite mo ika. Eh? Nante te. Momo. Okay. 
やっぱりそう呼ばれるのちょっと照れちゃうな I felt vaguely dizzy watching Mary fidget in embarrassment. Still, no, car, start to more. Mirai no second, oh, yako, that the cotto. Eh, Cogari chan no cotto, Ocaringa, or she de cretanda, yo. Did Kurushu send us a message to tell Mary everything? Is that what happened? Orego? Oh, fetch. Curse your hand. Uh, did I really tell them? Did I tell them something so important? Okay. Lukaku lowered his head in apology. Ah, Okay. Right. Even Lukaku knew about Miri and Kagari. Which meant that, of course. But I was Time Machine, and Right. Where's everyone else? He knew about the Time Machine. Evidently, I hadn't simply come straight back from the Alpha World Line. I was in a world line slightly different from the one I'd been in before. The Divergence Meter I'd used before was gone now. That meant I didn't have a precise number, but this all felt very different. The problem was finding out what was the same in the old world line and what was different. The worst, the biggest downside to doing time leaps and keeping your memory. Okay. Kagari, more a Yeah, alright. I showered Kagari with questions in an effort to find out what was going on. Here's what I learned. First, Kagari retained her memories of her childhood, in other worlds, in the year 2036. She knew Miri, Daru, Suzuha, and also Ferris and Lukako. But as for what, world, what the world of 2036 was like, and how she'd become Miri's daughter, she hadn't told them the details about that. Fortunately, they hadn't seemed interested in knowing about their futures. Everyone always thinks they'd want to know what their future holds. But when a, when a chance finally comes, fear outweighs your curiosity. The future wasn't always a happy thing. Knowing the future might destroy your dreams. It might be death sentence, like it was for me. Some people would lose all sense of meaning in their lives if they knew there was an inevitability going to be inevitably going to be a war in which five billion people died. Yeah, fetch. So did you get to the house? I was in the house and I was in the house. Yes. So, Okarin was with my mom and my mom and my mom. Yeah, yeah, I, I do this. Kagari is going, going, Kagari going missing. It happened almost exactly as I remembered it. The same was true of how she came to us. And. She was still missing some of her memories, too. In other words, in this world line, the only memories she'd, she had were her childhood and the last few weeks since she'd woken up in the Chiba Mountains. That'd be really weird. The most important part was still missing. <laughs> was there anything else I needed to ask? Where's Suzaha? I was starting to stare at the floor trying to think when I realized that something was missing. It's no bullet. Oh no, the attacks are coming, isn't it? 
Okay, babe, run! We know what this how you just you have the day gets stretched around, but it doesn't mean the events are gonna change. We gotta run. The lab had been attacked just last night. Get out, get out! You don't have Tenoji to help you! During the attack, one of the bullets had left a dark hole in the floor. Get out, get out, get out! なかったと思うけど。ちなみにお前たち昨日はその Oh no, they wouldn't say that if there had been an attack, which meant that the attack had never taken place. Was no one after Kagari in this world? No! No, it was too early to assume that. I still didn't know what had happened when she'd gone missing. Until I did, I couldn't say for sure if she was safe. I just like how sometimes Miri's death would occur on different days in the Alpha World line, the same thing might happen a few days later. In fact, it would be better to be cautious. We need to get out. They all started happily talking about last night's party. At first glance, it was a peaceful scene, but something sinister might be happening, and I just didn't know it. Oh no, no, I knew something had to be happening. In fact, that the world line was changing very was proof. Why had it changed anyway? Thought back to the events of that night. First, someone had taken over Amadeus. Kudusu had called me and asked for help. Then the world line had changed right after I'd answered. Which meant that a key was... Amadeus? Did Amadeus have something to do with the world line change? And what about the group who'd attacked Kagari? Was it all connected? Yes. Maybe I needed to find out. <laughs> あ、行けない。休憩時間終わってた。店長に怒られちゃう。店長ということはバイトしてるのか。そうだよ。下のブラウン観光棒って。で、この前行ったじゃん。Right。そうだったか。Okay, but we didn't set that up. So that means the rounders are just in her now. In the old world line, Kagari had started working for Tenoji after the attack. That was another difference. Right. Kagari ho hopped up and skipped out of the room. Her words and mannerisms were much more childish than they'd been in the last world line. Kagari, I asked one final question to Kagari, who was now giving a crisp salute. Amadeus Kagari seemed to think for a moment. Hmm. She didn't look like she was lying or being sarcastic. She must really not have known. Well, we could always check our phone. I watched her leave the lab and took my phone. There was another thing I needed to check. What was happening with Amadeus? It's not there. I looked at the icon on my screen. Amadeus. The AI that helped Kirisu Makase's personality and memories. And the application which started the program. But the program was gone. Did Kudusu remove herself from the Amadeus program? That might be it. わかったな。こんなところに呼び出して。別に構わないわ。ちょうど近くまで来てたから。Oh, sure. After seeing the icon missing on my phone, I contacted Maho immediately. My goal, of course, was to see what was going on with Amadeus in this world. I had to find out. で、話して? Amadeusのことだ。yeah, see, we weren't involved in the program or initially at all. Maho's eyes suddenly went wide. Her reaction surprised me as well. I had simply said the word Amadeus. Amadeus? 
どういうことだ Come on, quicker, uptake, I'll go back. Well, we should be used to this by now. This world line, you don't know about her. Probably because her uh, personality never got uploaded to it, thus it didn't ever facilitate a need for you to interact with her. どうしてあの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
karma, or perhaps another example of a tractor field convergence. Yes. <laughs> it had already been decided that Maho and I would meet here in Akihabara. But was there some meaning to that? So, so. Oh yeah. Evidently, she'd gone to the last night's party in this world line too. おかげで日本での いつまでも日本でバカンス気分を堪能してるわけにもいかないのよ。そうか。Still, she was only in Japan for another ten days. I hoped nothing would happen during the time. Amadeus had been shut down, no longer existed. No longer would I hear Kurushi's voice. After I said goodbye to Maho, what that meant really started to sink in. I could still feel Kurushi's warmth in my chest. Her smell. All the feelings I tried to forget were coming back now that I've seen her. No one will ever be happy in that world line. Everyone will be miserable. That's what she had said. I knew that. That's why I decided to stay here. But that didn't mean I could erase the sense of loss I felt. I went back to the lab to get all this together in my head. The cause of the attack in the last night world line, last and in the last world line was Kagari. And there was a good chance that Amadeus was involved in the world line change that took place afterward. But in this world line, the lab had never been attacked. And the Amadeus project had been cancelled while it was still in the research stage. That meant the two major factors in the events had occurred so far no longer existed. If they were gone, maybe there was no need to worry too much. <laughs> Except you're still in this world line. But even so, there was still a tiny alarm going off in the back of my mind. Why had Amadeus been shut down? What had happened to Kagari's missing memories? If nothing else, I might need to learn the answers to those two questions. <laughs> I thought for a while, then took out my phone and booted up the Ryan application. You could look for her on, um, what, wasn't she posting on at channel? Like, we could try and confirm if she's still around. Alright, so, fetch. Well, I honestly thought we'd be done with this in one part, but I think I have to stop here. I'm partly because I'm not feeling so great, but dang. So I guess uh, guess we'll have to see how this re results in the next time, but dang, this is still a powerful episode. We'll explore this ending, and then we'll go to the real ending. God, I just, I just extended this series quite a bit, didn't I? <laughs> but hey. It happens, it happens. So, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for joining me as part of this episode. I didn't realize I was going to be going on the train ride to the to the fields again. And you know what's interesting? There's a lot of series where I know sad things are going to happen and like I can just kind of handle it and muscle through it. But for some reason, Kurisu just hits those chords right in my in my soul. Like, just her as a, as a character. And just that realization and the feeling. And like, like I think the idea that makes it different is choice. In Fata Morgana, the last episode that was on Monday, if you didn't watch it, something happened that was very emotionally depressing. And I kind of knew it was coming, and it was still really, really sad. But I didn't actually cry then. Because it was something that was like, it was awful, it was something awful that happened to characters. They didn't choose it, they didn't really, like, it was just something that happened to them, you know? But this one was different. It's so much different when it's a choice. When Kurisu pushes that button herself, when she specifically sends the message knowing what will happen that has so much power to it and i can't help it i just i just find myself like breaking down at the thought of it it's really good and it's something i'm going to remember i want to remember this because of the story and writing that it can help me do in the future i want to keep in mind the difference between something terrible that happens to somebody it shouldn't that's sad but something terrible that happens to somebody who chooses it anyway because they think it's worth it. That's a whole other thing entirely. It's so powerful. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here today. Thanks so much for joining me on the channel. As always, it's a pleasure having you here and hopefully I'm feeling better here in the near future. Um, there's a good chance, I I'll have some stuff coming out later this week about like I might have to take a little break um, just 
it's just so it's 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 associated with how I'm feeling right now, but it's a different thing entirely. But I'll let you guys know about that in the future. Just keep an ear out for it. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. As always, it's a pleasure having you. And until the next video, watching me, I hope to see me next. I'll see you there.